later on i guess i will tell you what i am doing in texas but until then let's go find our gate i can honestly say new york city is dead how long have i been in this country i've deleted instagram for the past three weeks so where's her flight going guys what has become of tv so i will <laughs> tell you it's paris i'm excited for like texas food hello guys what is up happy tuesday this week is holy week which is surprisingly early i don't know i can't remember the last time we celebrated easter in march this is all kind of very weird it's a very important week for me because it's time that i actually pack my stuff and we pack my stuff in storage because i think i told you guys multiple times before packing my apartment last july I, I believe almost about to be a year four months shy away from it being a year i cannot believe i've been here for eight months it's been eight months since i moved out of new york city i can honestly say new york city is dead after the pandemic you see how i'm getting distracted my adhd it's like after the pandemic, I thought mm, and New York City is coming back. I spent about like a year and a half away from New York City or like in the middle of it towards the end. And I felt like I came back at the perfect time in New York City. But when I tell you since I would say last summer, since I moved out, New York City has not been the same. And it's update i haven't been going on my walks because the temperature has dropped considerably and i'm at the point where i'm like i'm fed up with winter i'm just like unless spring is here i just cannot be bothered honestly i'm just waiting for spring which is a bad mentality but it's really really annoying that spring is here and i'm just like waiting for the spring weather i just feel like it was a lot warmer in the winter than it has been since spring started it's getting to my nerve i'm just gonna wait until i move which is like i said not a good idea now i'm headed to home depot to get tapes because i don't have tapes and boxes i've just gotten so many new things now and i'm just like oh i want to take everything on the plane Lincoln sent me some like goodies for ready for the med gala i'm not going to the med gala but you know to do my makeup and all that cute stuff oh, i have to bring everything and then the other thing i've deleted instagram for the past three weeks so i have not been on instagram which is so liberating and i think i told you guys that before if it wasn't like the platform where i get pretty much 90 percent of my income come from i would have deleted instagram a long time ago i just don't like being there at all it just feels so iffy on that platform i don't really like it anymore it's just been the best thing i'm still loving youtube and youtube was like the number one thing that i started with i put my blog first and then i started my youtube channel maybe at the same time yeah, since 2011 actually i've started this channel it's been over a decade right since we've been writing together so if youtube as instagram you have a lot of people that are like watching but never engaging with your content which i don't really care for you know what that's another thing also once i go back i'm going to delete and remove so many people on my instagram because i don't need monitoring spirit i used to be the type of person i'm just like I don't really care if people don't engage with my content it doesn't really bother me because i don't really care i care much more about the people that engage with my content but i've reached a point where i'm just like you know what if you're not engaging like the people so-called friends if you're not engaging you can't see my content if you need me text me i've had a couple of friends like texting me they were like where are you you haven't posted and calling me like they think something happened and i'm just like no nothing happened honestly it's just been pure bliss when i tell you guys it's been pure bliss i should have done that a long time ago i think that's the thing going forward i think every month or every couple of months i am going to take like a week or something where i just like delete social media it's been worshiping more reading my bible more and stuff like that so it's just been amazing in that front so i've just been getting so many more packages that i have to open with you guys which i will do a little bit later but at the same time i have to open them from instagram too and then now I'm not on Instagram, so I don't know what to do. I think I might pre-record everything. Well, you guys get to see everything live because you guys are special. But for my Instagram folks, I am going to have to record everything prior. Because look what I just received. This would have been so perfect for me in my new place. I don't think you guys understand how much I'm obsessed with Lemon Perfect. Now they are available in Costco. I just received this like literally minutes ago. 
drink more lemons especially for me i don't necessarily like the taste of like lemon water because i warm my water and put lemon juice in there and it literally tastes like bath water not that i've ever drank bath water now i'm remembering the scene from salt burn that was the most disgusting thing i ever watched i had to like cover my eye i wanted to throw up but if you have not watched salt burn go ahead and watch it so i much prefer lemon perfect because i get to to have my lemon water but without the taste of the bath water and i'm gonna tell you guys my favorite flavors the coconut and the watermelon are my two least favorite flavors and everything else is amazing this actually surprised me all the flavors that i thought was going to be my favorite like coconut but one thing that i would say though coconut is one of the thing that is the hardest to replicate the natural flavors of coconut especially for me for someone who's caribbean who grew up in the caribbean eating coconut literally my entire life i literally have the coconut tree outside my bowl or even literally like everywhere we go coconuts like falling on the floor you cut them and just eat them right there coconut i would say it's the hardest flavor to replicate to make taste natural dragon fruit mango the dragon fruit mango is actually pretty good what i enjoy like the peach raspberry there's the blueberry the blueberry is really really good and i also think they have like a passion fruit do they have a passion fruit or am i making it up and the regular lemon water one which i love it tastes really really good if you're someone who hates the taste of water i love the taste of water but if you are someone i know there's a lot of people that hate the taste of water if you do definitely get some lemon water 15 bottles so this is available at costco and costco warehouse nationwide until march 31st no don't do that i want this to be permanently available at costco because i'm going to start becoming that person who has a costco membership this costco pack features are top fan favorite cheers and keep sipping if you spot it in real life, you like sharing, of course I'm gonna share. Like, they literally has become one of my favorite brands. I'm gonna email them, tell them to keep this as Costco forever because I would love to just buy this pack. Oh, I think it's gonna be available, but I think it's the price that's special for $13, guys. For just $13.49. 15 bottles. Wow, what a freaking steal. This is a company that I am very, very happy to spend my own money on. Hello again, I am back today is a little bit warmer so i might actually go out for a walk this is probably the first day in like over a week since it's actually been nice but other than that it's just been freezing windy and i'm just like oh i'm not gonna get involved i cannot wait to move so my dressing codes completely change i am so basic now all i want now t-shirt and leggings when i tell you guys these are the best leggings i don't think you guys believe me if you are someone who is a legging wearer please get you a pair of these like literally the best leggings ever and i'm obsessed with the, my ugg ties oh and i think i told you guys go one size up yeah don't do that take your regular size because i didn't realize once you start walking in them they do expand at first they will be tight if you get your regular size but once you start wearing them for like almost a month now and they've expanded definitely the next one i get i will be getting my regular size i didn't realize it's so funny like one of the things that i first moved here i did not appreciate about america are now my favorite thing about america is just like how casual we are i just love it like nobody cares nobody judges you really for what you wear here which is such a relief because back home in Haiti we're already a poor country but most people are so judgy everything you wear and i carried that judgmental thing with me when i moved here for so many years it wasn't until just a few years ago actually it wasn't even that long ago that's when i finally you know got rid of that judgment thing but again it's just like, embedded in our culture we're so judgmental about like what other people wear it's just ridiculous how does that concern you all the things that i didn't appreciate about america before or now are like my favorite things how casual we are we just don't really care we just wear leggings pretty much everywhere pajamas it's just like nobody's judging you i love it and if you love to dress up good for you but if you don't love to dress up good for you also i just love the casual culture that we have here like we don't make a big fuss about everything we just like to be comfortable like i never thought i would become a legging girl but i am now a legging girl not fully 100 percent the only reason why is that leggings don't have pockets 
that's the only thing that irks me I just don't think pocket looks good on leggings unfortunately i do have little pockets on the inside of these when i'm going on my walk that's where i put my keys and then i carry my phone so i can count my steps but i would say that's the only downside for me i don't have a pocket to put my phone it's the only downside to leggings i would say but other than that i'm obsessed like i said these have like a little inner pocket where you can keep cash in your keys or pepper spray if you need that's enough talking let's open so good this is only five calories can half a squeeze organic lemon in every bottle half i'm telling you i'm about to have these in my fridge i might even leave them outside and drink at room temperature because they will be the first thing i drink in the morning my lemon water to cut my stomach and also if you are someone who loves juice and you want to cut down on your juice intake i don't drink juice again i'm caribbean <laughs> i don't know why i have to tell you guys that there's a lot of things caribbean people don't really do especially if you grew up there because i grew up in haiti you don't snack now i'm becoming a snacker now sometimes i prefer a snack than like a full meal especially if i don't want to cook i like to cook when i'm inspired i'm not someone who's just gonna cook every day that's not me that's just too much work for me i don't know how my mom does it and saying to me how much she cooks it's like every time I go to the front she's in the kitchen i'm like how do you do it like i can't it's such a chore to me but when i'm inspired or like oh i'm craving something specific i'll make it how long have i been in this country almost 20 years i think i think it will be 20 years next year yeah it took 20 years for me to become a snacker now i do snack i love the little cheese it from the from the ritz so good and i love the ritz crackers also so usually i'm more of like a healthy snack kind of person but again because i'm not home i can't be bothered to actually go grocery shopping and get snacks because the fridge our fridge doesn't even have a light the light broke literally 10 years ago it's never been replaced i'm telling you this house it's a mess because it's not my fridge it's full of other people's stuff i don't even like to go in there a lot of time when i buy things they go bad because i barely go into the fridge that's the problem I just can't be bothered to actually buy like healthy stuff but for me personally i love snacking on like a carrot i love carrots so much like i can eat so many of them i love grapes as a snack leave some of your favorite snacks below guys let me know what are some of your favorite snacks it doesn't have to be healthy actually i want sort of like the unhealthy version because i want to try them I used to be more like of a healthy snacker. I would get like a pineapple, some fruits and stuff. That used to be my snacks. Never really like crackers. But now I've become a little cracker person. Abby and I, we bond over snacks. I used to never understand like snack culture. But now I get it. I'm just like, I just need a snack. I don't know. It's just fun to just snack on something. Also, the other thing I love snacking on is nuts. Like I love almonds. I love to get like the raw almonds and cashews. Raw almond and cashews was just like my favorite snacks especially cashews i love cashews and one show abby and i we've been loving is young sheldon i love the big bang theory it's one of my favorite shows ever so when i saw that they were making like a prequel about sheldon's life when he was little so abby and i we've been loving young sheldon so our two favorite shows are abbott elementary and young sheldon the seventh season just came out i think last month so we're waiting for it to be available on max it's not available yet and also the third season of Abbott Elementary is also out but it's on Hulu my brother has Hulu I don't have Hulu I can't turn my Hulu and it has ads I can't do the ads like the ads is just too much for me I, I can't I would rather just like not watch anything what is the point that's one of the reasons why I hate watching TV to begin with is all the ads don't get me wrong I love good ads but if I know I'm watching TV sure I don't mind the ads even though I sort of mind a little bit especially ads these days it's like everything is like a medical ad do you have cancer do you have this and that listing a bunch of side effects i don't want to listen to this like i want ads about cinnamon toast crunch send me some ads about lemon water send me some good ads about oreos some food or something that's good not everything like do you have this disease do you have this disease here's a medication and they're listing a bunch of like side effects you might die from this what has become of tv like ads used to be fun it used to be neutrogena l'oreal you know maybelline maybe she's born with it or maybe she's it's maybelline neutrogena you know the you know, little makeup remover ads and i'm like those used to be the ads back in the day i just think healthcare, the medical field shouldn't do ads on tv i think it should go against the healthcare business i feel like it used to but i feel like over the last few years 
they've changed the law so much now they got so many things that are allowed in the healthcare field that wasn't when i was working there i've worked in healthcare for almost a decade and i used to be a compliance person so i, I know a thing or two about compliance about what's allowed in terms of marketing i'm just shocked over the last couple of years how bad ads has become like everything is a medical ad now it's just insane to me it's crazy i just don't think these things should be in our tv and especially that if you know your eyes and what you hear or the thing that you ingest you don't want certain things to manifest in your life so when you're like constantly hearing about do you have this disease do you have that i feel like it's rewiring your brain somehow for you too that disease your ears your eyes are like very very powerful so you should be careful about what you listen to about what you hear that's why i don't listen to secular music really anymore even tv shows i'm very picky about the stuff that i watch the reason why i love young sheldon is because like his mother is like a very christian person compared to sheldon who's in like an atheist there's a lot of like you know bible thing in there so i love that aspect of the show and also the show made me fall in love with a state that I never thought that I would even like to begin with but again story for another day okay I'm talking too much guys why do you have me talking this much what does it matter with y'all should I show you what I got from Lancome new absolute rouge blushing nudes those lipsticks look absolutely stunning but one of the products that um one of the girls that i follow she said this is one of her favorite makeup remover ever this sort of product she said is one of her favorite makeup remover ever and i've actually been dying to try this from lancome so i'm so so happy to have this and the jenna fixium i finally started using it i have the bigger bottle in the bathroom over there and i'm not sure how i feel about it i don't know yet if i'm impressed or not and i think that's because i haven't been consistent with it i've sort of like used it once a week i need to use it for at least three weeks to actually see how how we get on so i'm so so glad i have this one because i'm gonna leave the other one for my mom and it's so funny i think i was telling you guys that they sent me this liner in a different brown it's one of my favorite liner and then i was actually gonna go out and buy the black version from this and now they actually sent me i think the color that i've been looking for a syrup brown matte which is the brown that i've been looking for the other brown is a little bit too light for me i think i would go for someone who's blonde or like very fair skin and i also got the seal booster mascara base i cannot wait to use this i've also been applying castor oil in my lashes although i haven't done that this week and then mr big i love mr big i love this mascara and we've got these lovers whispers this is going to be perfect for me as my lip combo for the summertime got me blushing that's fall winter surprise surprise if you're on tiktok you you know what i'm talking about surprise 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 this is like a brown color i do love a brown lip Ooh, burst to joy looks super pretty and then we've got the nudes first kiss i cannot wait to get into these guys abby and i we are at the mall going to see dune oh my god give me the kiss no we're going to see dune part two if they're not playing by the rules, then neither are we. Administration. The reason they find you unattractive is the very reason. Guys, all of a sudden, I am obsessed with Western movies. And I just finished The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And I didn't even realize what Clint Eastwood. I was so handsome when he was younger. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. It's still Holy Week. Today is the day Jesus rested in the tube. But today, unfortunately, as much as I tried to observe the Sabbath, um, it is Saturday, not Sunday. Unfortunately, today, I have to go to storage and actually pack certain things so i hope jesus you're not too mad at me i fly on tuesday and on monday is when i am going to be taking some of the stuff that i have here into the storage today i actually have to go to storage and repack all the stuff that all the boxes that were broken let's go this is my outfit i wear the same thing leggings the sweatshirt and that's it all right guys packing has been going underway as you can see i have to remove everything and sort of repack a lot of the boxes because a lot of them broke and also i have way more boxes than i thought 
I ran out of tape. So I sent my mom to Home Depot. She's working to Home Depot to get some extra boxes and to get some tape so we can get moving because on Monday, I'm just gonna hire just one person to come and bring the boxes that I have at my house to the storage and have everything ready and tidy. So that way, when it's time for the company to go pick up everything, I'm just waiting for my mom now because I have no tape. I can't even do anything really. All right guys, we are back from the storage. It is about six, well, 6.30. It's, I'm obsessed with like time. I don't know what it is. I need to know like how long things take. Very weird. I need to know. We need to eat a dessert, was it, got rare. So five hours it took us to pack everything. It didn't feel like a long time, but I guess five hours, it's sort of a long time. We have to repack pretty much majority of the boxes that were there. I think it's actually ready that way because my mom has the key to my storage. So she can just go and open the storage door for whatever company will be moving my stuff once, you know, I get my apartment and I'm ready. But I got reunited with, I had to get a face mask. I've actually went to storage to get this a couple of times, could not find it. And there was no way I was ever going to find this. No way, Jose. I have the neck one, which is packed over here. But this is the face one, which they've sent me just like almost a year ago or two years ago. I can't believe I've never used this. So, but now I have the face and I have the neck. I am so excited. LED light, it just makes such a big difference. I haven't done the neck one in like over a week now. I've been slacking. I think I've just been like in the move, sort of like state of mind. Nothing else interests me. And I got one of my favorite t-shirts, which is a cast t-shirt. And I also got this cute little set from Kate, which I love, 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 love. I love this little set. I never get a chance to wear it. You know, it's something to just wear in your apartment. Even though I don't necessarily like to be working around my apartment and like little slanky stuff like this. It's a cute little set. Under eye mask from Skin Medica. Oh my goodness, like the skincare that I saw, I'm like, I cannot wait to be reunited with my skincare. I cannot tell you guys how much I miss my skincare. Hello guys. Happy, happy Monday. Today's the first packed up everything and bring it to storage so now everything is sort of like ready and I guess who's here no dancing I could dance but... get off so Haven well within sent me this lovely gift um, I haven't opened it yet so I wanted to kind of like open it with you guys for later sure. Stop moving my shoes, Abigail. Watch where you're going. And they sent me this Flamingo. Flamingo Estate is probably one of my favorite brands. If you get invited a lot to like dinners at your friend's house, oh, this is such a great gift to like gift the host. Like, if you have taste, you know about this brand. I've just been really dying to like truly try it because the last time I received something from them, um, was when I was kind of like moving out so it's still in boxes I have not had the chance to use it so this is a body oil from Flamingo Estate and also I love the name before yeah I cannot wait I'm gonna take this with me because this is a body oil and they sent me this oh shoot they sent me a bra and a pair of un underwear um and you know what I've been on the market for a black bra I don't really have one so this is actually perfect what size did I get medium so this is a medium i think this is the t-shirt bra i've been wanting like a t-shirt bra um this is it obviously i'm not gonna try this for you guys this is not that kind of party and we've got the underwear like that okay this is going to be perfect let me pack that i'm gonna pack all my new bras one of their magazines and i saw this picture i'm like i want that yellow sweater Oh, I have these shoes. I actually saw them the other day when I was unpacking. Only got like, not even 22 hours. We have 22 hours. Let me actually look at my flight detail. My flight is tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Flight to where? Don't worry about it. No, where's, where's your flight going? I'll tell you tonight. Where's her flight going, guys? So, I will <laughs> tell you. It's Paris. No, it's not. It's New York. We were, we were already in New York, I'd be mean, where we It's LA, guys. It's LA. I oh, know, it's not LA. Yes, it is. You I saw it. It's LA. I wish it was LA. It's LA. It's not. 
it's LA. Mm -mm. It's LA. Actually, I need to go to LA. I've been uh, overdue for a trip to LA. I just want to go to Erwan, honestly, and also go to uh, what is that burger place in LA? What is it called, Abby? Shake? No, it's not Shake Shack. It's the other one. In and Out. Although last time when I went to San Francisco, I actually did not like In and Out. I think LA is better. I don't know, but the last time I had an out, I was very disappointed. Well, I don't know what happened with my order, but I did not enjoy it at all. Um, I think I much prefer when I actually go inside and I order the stuff and then just go and sit and eat it. But this is it. It's time to start packing now. And tomorrow, I say goodbye to Abby. Okay, she's been a meanie to me, so. That is not. That's it. And we'll see you guys later. Mm-hmm. Bye. No, we're not doing it anymore ASMR. Put my water back. Hey, um, put, um, juice for me over there, Abby. Go get the juice for me. Get the juice for me. Not that one, I'll be empty. The pink one over there. Oh, pull off, I have to do my nails. Oh my goodness. I don't feel like doing anything. What about, oh, I will move, I brought some stuff back. Where are they, Abby? It's so funny, I much prefer the regular lemon. It's just so much better. Oh, I was telling you guys about the lemon water. This, what time was it? Shut up. This is the I'm best trying one. to do ASMR. Do ASMR. Nobody likes ASMR. I like ASMR. Yeah, I don't. This is Abby looking like that's for the ghost. <laughs> and who remember no air. but the rain always know when you just wash your hair like yesterday I wash my hair I straighten it and I curl it and then this morning ah, this is what you have to deal with I mean it hasn't hit me yet because I'm wearing my little cap yeah I did my makeup today I haven't done my makeup in so long but I thought I would do it for the flight you know just wanted to feel cute It's so funny, I've actually never been to Texas and I can't even say that I've even wanted to go at all. It never like appealed to me as a state like whatsoever. But do you know what show made me fall in love with Texas? Abby and I, we've been watching Young Sheldon and it actually made me fall in love with Texas. I was just like, wow, I've just been missing out. Like I, again, I never thought that I would be going there I mean I don't know it just like never interests me like I said I woke up today I did my makeup I took my time we are here I've just checked in oh my flight is at 10 15 checked in I got some coffee I've got one of the things that I love to drink is actually coconut water coconut water is just so good for you but whenever I get on the flight I always get one coconut water and then my Evian water of course Course. and I'm gonna make my way to my gate I had planned on doing my nails while I was waiting but you know what I think I'm just gonna leave it for when I get there I'm excited for like Texas food and I'm excited for a barbecue oh my goodness I'm gonna take you guys along with me on this ride I am so so excited later on I guess I will tell you what I am doing in Texas but until then let's go find our gate and sit down and have some coffee I was very very sad yesterday and last night even this morning I was just like oh I was just like dreading it I'm like I don't want to go <laughs> oh I'm wearing the set I love the set I mean it's not necessarily a set I didn't buy the matching pants but I just still got navy blue pants to kind of like go with it I love
love the cold. I was actually pleasantly surprised. I'm like, yes, it's not hot. 